Hi friend, this is Anurag. Uh, today I'm going to demonstrate you that how you can install, uh, sorry, uh, use scaffold command to create CRUD in Ruby on Rails framework. So in my previous vi video, uh, I have demonstrated you that how you can create CRUD on console. And in my today's video, I'm going to demonstrate you how you can use CRUD by using scaffold command through browser. So let's get started. Just going to write the command rails g for generate scaffold, scaffold name, which is post in my case, title, which is the attribute, and string, colon string, which is the data type for that attribute. Let's click on enter. So that small command, magical commands create a bunch of files, uh, bunch of files, uh, including a migration file, a model file, few test files, unit test file, YML file for test data. It's create an entry in rouse.rv file, which is resources colon post. Created an uh, controller. Created a whole directory including uh, index edit show new and form partial html.erv files skates a test unit file helper and few other files so you need to run the command uh, to run the pending migration as we, we have already seen that that commands created a migration file so just on the command rake db colon migrate so that command basically run that migration file to create post table into the database so, uh, we have seen that that uh, command has been executed and that command create a table with the name post which is plural in the database with the title column and string data type now you need to start the server by command rails s so rails server has been started now you need to click on browser localhost colon 3000 because our application is running on 3000 port then posts and just click on enter Wow, this is the magic of scaffold command. You can see that by writing a small command, a complete page and complete CRUD functionality has been added. So, I have written here post because in routes.rv file, uh, the index uh, for index action we call post routes. Okay. So just click on new post, uh, name that post, click on create post, wow our post has been created, click on back, we can l see the list of post, click on edit, you can edit that post too, by clicking update post then click on back even you can destroy that post by a single command in other languages you have to write so much of code to implement that kind of functionality so now you need to check what is happening at the behind the scene so it is my blog application I just clicked on app model so you can see there is a model which is inherited by active record base we have a controller, post controller, which is inherited by action controller, and all the actions, including index, show, new, edit, create, update, destroy, has been created automatically by that command only. So whenever uh, a user or anybody clicks on a new post, so you can see that a action is calling. Uh, uh, post slash new and in that method a post instance is created 
when anybody uh, types something to create a post and click on create post create method calls so in that method basically uh, uh, it that creates a post instance with some parameter whatever you are writing into the input box and it respond with the save and some message and in else case with some errors and when you click on edit and write something and click on update post so controllers update methods call in that method basically the update methods works and takes new parameters and save and update the instance when a user click on destroy so basically that uh, calls the destroy methods in the controller which directly calls on post and redirects to the post URL which is the index URL with some message so that was the whole tutorial for scaffolding in Ruby on Rails I will uh, demonstrate you some other stuffs about scaffolding and validations in my next video tutorial thanks for watching the tutorial thank you